My name is Frank Friedman. I'm going to talk to you briefly about Wilms tumor, the kidney disease that is found in children, otherwise known as nephroblastoma. This picture is of Ashley La Montagne, Tranche Montagne, of Marine City near St. Clair County. She has Wilms tumor and she's coming along very, very nicely. This is one of the families in which I am in touch. Now, for those of you who want to know about Wilms tumor, it usually occurs after birth in about three months, although sometimes it may not occur until about age of one. I have been in contact with several people. Uh, their ages will vary. The, unfortunately, a little girl, little teenager, 15 years old, passed away from it in El Paso, Texas just last month, but she wasn't diagnosed until she was 13. Another young man, 14, from Brookings, South Dakota. A young man, 7 years old, from West Friendship, Maryland. A little girl, 8 years old, from Vineland, New Jersey. And of course, the picture I just showed, Angela Transmontagna, 3 years old, from Marine City. Also, there's a young lady, Erica, 9.5 years old. Andrew, who is five years old, and Monica, 18 months, all from the same general area in St. Clair County. Now, there is something that's very, very interesting about Wilms tumor. There is uh, research that's being done all the time. There's what was called the Caroline Price Walker Conquer Childhood Cancer Act. I repeat, the Caroline Price, P-R-Y-C-E, Price Walker Conquer Childhood Cancer Act, which has been funded for research to the tune of $150 million for the next five years. There are approximately 12,500 American children diagnosed each year with cancer, and that's about uh, 46 kids or two classrooms per day, if you figure it out. There is also what is known as the Children's Oncology Group, and there are better than 5,000 experts who deal uh, with childhood cancer research in many of the hospitals and also for treatment. It's uh, very, very important that the research go on. The Wilms tumor has various factors. How do you discover it? It can come from abdominal mass, fever, blood in the urine, reduced appetite, weight loss, high blood pressure, constipation, stomach pain, nausea, vomiting, and general discomfort. Generally, as I mentioned, the age might be three months or one to five. The tumor will become quite evident. A, a mother or a father can just take their finger and press if they see a bulge on the child's stomach, and it will perhaps think that it's a hernia, but it's best to have it checked out either by ultrasound or MRI, and generally the child will outgrow it, as I have stated before, uh, through chemo or radiation. Another interesting thing, there is what's called a pediatric cancer database. Now there are not many, many states that have such a thing because it's very, very expensive. In Michigan, we are very fortunate to have such a database, and we can track a child. Also, the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Institute in Texas tracks more than 6,000 survivors from among almost 10,000 patients with, uh, who have been registered since 1969. Researchers today will track the incidence of tumors in other parts of the body. Also, they will do research on congestive heart failure, restrictive pulmonary disease, and the end stage renal, which is kidney, renal disease, and other medical conditions from either treatment or biological factors that led to Wilms tumor. At the Hutchinson Cancer Center in Texas, they want to eliminate cancer and related diseases as causes of human suffering and death. So once again, I beg of you, those of you who have a child and you may have any uncertainty to have the child checked out by a specialist as soon as possible. Thank you very much.